Uh, hello, everybody. Um, I'm Stuart. Uh, with me, of course, is Rob. Uh, pretty much, I was going to say as usual, but Rob wasn't with me the last time. It was, it was Katie. Uh, and with us uh, on this particular interview is Rachel Heaton. Uh, Rachel, it's good to see you. How are you? I'm not too bad, thank you. You feel good? Marvellous. Yes, excellent. Yeah. Right. So, um, obviously, this is now... A new recording. This is all about our series on hidden disabilities in LARP. So let's get to it. Right. So let's actually get to it. Uh, that was a little. That, that was a little bit better with a lot of um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know. Uh, let me just get rid of the titles. There we go. Um. So, so Rachel. Uh, Rob tells me that he actually met you at Curious Pastimes. Yes. Um, we, we love the guys at Curious Pastimes. They know that. <laughs> we know that. Anybody yeah. that watches the Bummy Show knows, you know, yeah, we have, knows that. We have Curious Pastimes. <laughs> <laughs> We're big fans. Um, now, within this series, we've been talking to quite a few people. Uh, it does seem to be right now, it's 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 mainly fibromyalgia. <laughs> That's, yeah. Everybody, yeah. everybody seems to seems to suffer with. Um, but apart from that, it's good because Rob tells me as well that you go to an awful lot of different LARPs also, okay, not, yeah. not not just Curious Pastimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I think what we, we kind of want to hear has been mm -hmm. your experiences uh, with the different systems. Uh, whether or not they've been able to accommodate um, mm -hmm. what what you have, whether they've not been able to at all, yeah, uh, but whether or not they were willing to try to that sort of thing. So, yeah, yeah. yeah sure. what 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 has been your experiences overall? Um, generally, overall, I've found most LARP events and systems to be really inclusive. Yeah. Um, okay on varying levels so some will try and you know it, it can be quite difficult depending on the kind of system mm -hmm. um and like what's going on so i've had it where with some systems they've kind of given me first dibs on bunk spaces for example because of health reasons yeah um which is a really nice thing to yeah. do you know especially when it's cold you don't really want to camp and that can set your oh, fiber yeah. pain off you know what i mean oh yeah um, yeah, yeah um but other systems, um, as an example, I am going to kind of promote them a bit because they've just been top notch. It's actually no, um, Grunts um, by ILARP. Um, okay. They've been absolutely amazing. Um, it's run by Michael Lawn, who actually goes to Curious Pastimes. <laughs> He's in the Lions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but they've just been fantastic. Um, one of the um, sites that we were at was very hilly. Um, okay. And we had this really big fight at the end. I was already quite tired, but Mike, bless him, was like, right, you don't have to do this next bit to go up this big hill. Said to all the players, Lotso, that's the name of my character, yeah. hoverboards her way over this battlefield, hoverboards her way over all of these mines. And it meant that I didn't have to go up, down this big hill, back up another hill and fight my way up. Because it would have just absolutely ruined me and there would have yeah. been no way I would have enjoyed it because I would have been in so much pain. Yeah. Um, so he managed to do it where I, I actually walked across this flat bit with Oliver Facey. We walked yeah. across this flat bit, said to all of the um, monsters, don't shoot, you know, she's with a photographer, don't shoot her. Yeah. And okay. I waited up at the top yeah. for the final encounter where all of the um, players were coming to. And then I kind of got like dropped in and I yeah. then managed to carry right. on. Fantastic. And they do little things like that like all the time. Um, there was, I think it was at the same event at the very beginning, this really big, long slog fight at the beginning. And he knew that I wouldn't be able to do all of the hills and stuff. So I went straight to the base where all the players were fighting to get to. And we kind of made this little like encounter where my character had been kidnapped. And it was very fun. Like it made me feel good because it's like they considered it. And yeah. we're actually thinking about the fact that you know i'm maybe not gonna be able to do this bit so how can they make it cool for me as well it's not like oh you know letting me decide they're making little bits of plot yeah, yeah. 
so that I'm still feeling cool and not too like self-conscious about it. And yeah. I think that's just been awesome and I really appreciate it. Oh um, yeah, no, yes, I, yeah, I, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, it's it's yeah. it's good. It's good when a system, you know, and 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 the organisers uh, or designers or directors, depending on what part of the country uh, you're, the world you're from. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, it's good when they can come up with a solution that a keeps within the the setting. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, B uh, allows you to still have fun, uh, and C. Uh, nails it on the head when looking after their player base. Yeah, yeah exactly. Awesome. Like they've come up with so many different little things and have kind of tweaked little bits as well. Like yeah. in the player base, there are like squads because it's a yeah military sci-fi aliens yeah. airsoft. Right. Lab. It's, it's kind of yeah, kind of my understanding. It's a bit like the idea of the space marines from aliens. Yeah, exactly. Doing stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's right. And mm. we're all in squads, um, but yeah. each. You know, they've kind of made it where my character can kind of stay at base, like cause I'm a medic and it's like I mainly stay at base and we have a combat medic and they've yeah. tried to make it, you know, like bring bring the Marines back so that I still have game and stuff like that. And it's it's just nice to feel included. Oh, and thought yeah, about. yeah, 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 definitely. Definitely. I mean, that's that's got to be the biggest plus uh, to just about any any player let's yeah. be honest you know whether, whether or not you you have a condition or not to know that they're they've been thinking about you you've been included etc yeah. oh marvelous i mean it's, it's like top notch yeah it's been great <laughs> yeah um uh without sort of naming any <laughs> any systems or names have you had any bad experiences um only once yeah. um that was again it was a I wasn't really offered, I mean, I don't expect to be offered things, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, it was quite cold. Um, I asked about bunks. Um, they'd already booked out the majority of the bunks. I was like, okay, doesn't matter, I'll camp. Um, mm. But then there weren't really things in place where I could get myself warm. Yeah. And that's a big right. thing with fibro. So um, the only place where you could get, like, hot water mm. was in the crew hut. And they didn't really okay. want me to be in the crew hut. And then I kind of felt like I was intruding to try and get hot water for my hot water bottle. Yeah, um, yeah. So I ended up very, very cold, which is actually now why I take um, little things called little hotties instead of hot water yeah, bottles. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you just shake mm. them and they get hot. Um, you know, and it was the... When I was struggling, I was going back to my tent and needing a nap or something. Um, and then kind of going back, it felt kind of awkward and like I was kind of I was almost made to feel like I was kind of ruining people's immersion because I was having mm. to go mm. it was because it was so cold basically but I kind of was yeah. made to feel like I was kind of ruining people's immersion because I was like disappearing and stuff like that I mean my partner was trying really hard to come up with reasons why like yeah. that my character had just disappeared like oh she's had to go off to sort out this so you know like just trying yeah, to come okay. up with yeah. things like that but it it was just one of those things where I was just made to feel like I couldn't access the things that I needed to mm. keep myself healthy, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, now, I think that's important to yeah, be able to do things like get the rest you need in a way that, that doesn't break yours or somebody else's immersion. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, actually, you're the first person to mention being warm as well, so that sounds like it's a, it's a big thing. Yeah, uh, it's a really warm. big thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, for me, actually, interestingly, at Renewal this year, mm -hmm. the Thursday night got so unbelievably cold because we had no cloud cover. Yeah. Um, and that was the first time at a CP event that I generally thought that I was, oh, I might actually get hypothermia. <laughs> like, I'm so cold. <laughs> actually, um, but, actually, right, Thursday that night was, was oh, cold, yeah. It was so cold. But because of the experience I'd had before, I had my little hotties, so I ended up like surrounding myself with like <laughs> six of them, like in the little <laughs> Just click this one and that one and that <laughs> one and that one and that one and that one. <laughs> oh, it is mad. Pick them yeah. and away you go. <laughs> yeah, but the the thing is also with LARP events, it's not just me getting cold that is a problem, it's also me getting too hot. So yeah. renewal this year was just a nightmare because during the day it's boiling hot. I'm like overheating, pouring water all over myself. Then on a night, I'm like getting hypothermia. Like, what is going on? 
No, see, no, I, I, I agree actually. CP was bonkers that we knew all this year because oh. Stu could make it in four G, but we did. No, we had like right, yeah. clear nights, temperature, oh. whee, and in the day it was like 30, 35 degrees yeah. plus. See, <laughs> I'm, I'm, and, and I've just come up with a genius idea uh, some kind of outfit with all pockets with Velcro things on them so you can snap, put in a pocket, snap, put yeah. in a pocket, snap. What a great idea. I just yeah. have a, bod- a body suit of these of these, these little hotty things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the good thing with that, if you get too hot, just get a load of those um, just, ice packs that you shake. Just got it. Right <laughs> hey, we're going to market that. That's yeah. the... That's the La- book portable uh, heat or air conditioning system. What more do you need? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, honestly, that would have like saved my life. It would have been all no joke. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. If there are any manufacturers out there that uh, do LARP costumes and etc., maybe you should consider doing that and just add us as a little tagline. LARP book, keeping you hot or cold. <laughs> 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 Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm completely, completely with you, right, uh, on that. Yeah, it's like the conditions that I got as well. I, I, I can't be too hot. I can't be too cold, right? Mm. If I have them, I just keel over. It's as simple as that. Yeah. Uh, uh, just, just black out. Men don't faint, okay? They black out. Um, black out. <laughs> <laughs> and, wow. uh, and yes. I, I can I can also understand it's, it's it's a shame like I said we've all had bad experiences at LARP right yeah. it's as simple it's as simple as that it's it's never one hundred percent amazing um but it does seem to be that to 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 me that um, organizers directors whatever you call them in your part of the world are are waking up to the idea very quickly yeah that. The, that there's a lot of conditions now um, and a lot of uh, different people that, that, that play LARPs from every single walk of life, you know. Um, and a lot of the time, because of the conditions they have, uh, this game that they play is their only real release outlet. Yeah. Get away from the Even though they still got it, they can feel like it can be a part of their character and yeah. be a, a, and be a benefit in 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 a way you know um, yeah it, it's interestingly as it for me weirdly um back to my character lot so yeah for some reason i don't know how but i get into like her mindset and i can just push through things i wouldn't normally yeah. push yeah. through like at yeah. one of the last events i was at i was like dancing mm-hmm. until like 1 a.m and everyone was like whoa like how you know because everyone everyone there knows and everyone there's really good with it and they were like yeah. you know are you gonna be okay tomorrow and i was like i'll see how i am if i need to take tomorrow chill That's i will right. yeah it yeah. wasn't until after the event that i had my fiber crash because i kind of like kept on that high for the event yeah, yeah. but i yeah, think yeah, when yeah. organizers are so accommodating and everyone's so kind of inclusive it really helps like mentally so you yes. can kind of enjoy it a lot more yeah. and not be too self-conscious yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I, I agree. Thing, yeah, I totally agree. If you if you get that kind of lab high when you're in with the character, when you're in with the immersion, you just forget everything and you just wow, the same happened to you. You just go for it. That's just you don't worry about anything until afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Much, really anything until much, afterwards. much to Rob's uh, detriment. I can tell you that now. <laughs> <laughs> Stu, can you drive home? I don't think I can drive home. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's me yeah. getting home and just not moving off the sofa for three days. Like, <laughs> ow, <laughs> ow, everything hurts. <laughs> but at least while you played, you felt alive, and that's what exactly, counts. exactly. Yeah. yeah, I think that's half the fun. <laughs> yeah, well, of course, of course it is. Uh, you know, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so. One of the questions that we kind of always ask, uh, or, or we have been asking within within these interviews, is what would you like, organizer slash director slash whatever you call them in your country, um, when they find out someone has a condition, uh, what would you like them to do? I think for me, firstly, not make a huge deal out of it, because yeah. that can make you feel like more self-conscious. Yeah. But 
getting like a message before the event or I mean obviously at bigger events that's quite hard to do but kind of for smaller events it's more easier but just to kind of check in on maybe if there's any additional things that you might need so you know access to hot water if you need a hot water bottle um uh for me i do also have mental health conditions Mm -hmm. so little pre-warnings if something is going to happen at the event that might set off a panic attack for example just those little check-ins to make sure that you're going to be okay at the event and just to make you feel like you've been listened to or you know that they've kind of seen that maybe you've got a condition and maybe just the small it's for me this it's the small things that make me feel like i've been kind of acknowledged if that makes sense yeah yeah yeah, totally. yeah. Totally, just yeah. just someone going right thanks for letting us know if there's anything that's going to trigger anything that you've got uh we'll make sure to inform you on the day yeah. uh etc so you can either a be prepared for it or yeah. be not be there you know yeah exactly um, those exactly. those sorts of things i think mm. you know would would benefit greatly yes it is more work but i would like to put out there to the the organizers creators directors whatever you are in the country um these people are paying money to come along to your game yeah <laughs> exactly. right the, the, these people are, are financing your mm. project in a way yeah yeah um we and uh, whether whether they're uh, and god i really hate these able th- these these labels you know the yeah. whether able bodied they they have a disability they have a condition whatever it is yeah still paying the same money yeah we're still coming <laughs> like, we're still coming to your game you know yeah yeah they're still coming to the game they're still participating they still want to be involved um but i would say on the whole so far what we've learnt is the majority if not 98 percent of them you know have definitely brought this on board and gone yeah yeah yeah, this is this is now a reality for us it's no longer let's find the hilliest hill the rockiest thing the forest foresty forest type thing and we'll go and do that we now got to think about toilets we've now got to think about yeah cleaning stations we've now got to think about first aid we've now they've got to really yeah. start thinking about it like an event rather yeah. than a bunch of mates getting together exactly like yeah. having decent toilets a warm yeah. shower oh yeah oh they make such a difference <laughs> oh yes yeah. it doesn't sound like oh but actually if you're not well that's actually or feeling well that's incredible have just have a warm shower yeah it, oh yeah it, Oh, it's that's one of the reasons why I love Packer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, no, those no. showers are so no. good. Oh yes, yes. Believe me, trust me. I've stood in them many times. Going, this is great. Yeah. And what? And what's even better? Of course, we, when we go to to Packer with with CP etc., uh, we're obviously uh, can use the crew uh, area. Mm. Yeah. Um, so they're all disabled toilets and, and yeah. showers uh, in, in that block. I don't know about, about the other one. So I even get a seat, which is great. Oh, uh, I the seats in the showers. Oh, yeah. brilliant. Actually brilliant. <laughs> you just sit there and go, ah, oh, it's just, just completely just, just, ah. Uh. Yeah. It's like stage mates. My stage mates when it goes like, I might be about an hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just sit there and just melt in the shower. It's fine. Don't mind me. You, you you may want to check one of the other toilets because I'm going to be here a while. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I live here now. <laughs> uh, Rob, is there anything else you'd you'd like to ask or yeah, add? Question: You mentioned panic attacks. Um, yeah. But, um, I just wonder what your thoughts were if do, on lap providing like chill room that if, if things are getting too intense, yeah. just have somewhere to go quiet I, for Bob. I honestly think that that would be an absolutely brilliant idea. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's nice at some events like obviously they've got out of character sleeping areas like camping and stuff yeah but often they're quite far away from the yeah. rest of the game they are, and when yeah. you're in a panic attack trying to navigate your way through all the players to get back to oh, yeah. character camping it's good because you're already yeah. feeling self-conscious and vulnerable i think you know yeah. the, the idea of having like a quiet area or like 
a designated yeah. area would be absolutely brilliant. I mean, mm. at my first, actually my first ever LARP event that I went to, yeah. it was a little bit of Baptism of Fire. It was a 24-hour horror sci-fi system. Ooh. Deep end. <laughs> like, deep end. <laughs> deep end, yeah. Um, but I, um, I ended up kind of feeling panicky, anxious, mm. almost having a panic attack. And the crew hut was very close to where the player base was. Yeah. Um, so I went over to the crew hut and just kind of knocked on the door. And they were absolutely lovely. They just took me in, sat me down, gave me a cup of tea. And it was quiet in there. They didn't mind that I was seeing bits of plot. You know what I mean? Like yeah. some some systems can get like very protective about the plot that's going yeah. on. Oh, you can't see this character costume. But they recognized that I needed help. Yeah. And I yeah. just sat in there. I sat in there for like four hours, I think. And just had a chat with everybody. They kept giving me tea and biscuits and calmed me down. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I just thought that the way that I was treated and just how lovely everyone was was really it was really what I needed. And having not it doesn't necessarily have to be in the crew hut because obviously plot isn't there, but a designated quiet space could yeah, be I mean. really good. Like for people who have like PTSD, panic attacks, or even people who have um you know, sensory problems. Like I get sensory problems with my fibro. If things are getting a bit much, like and things are getting really loud, having yeah. a designated area that is kept quiet and is like a safer place to be, like I think that could be really, really useful. Yes, defi- yeah. definitely. I, 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 yeah, I agree with that. I, I do agree with that. Yeah. Um, it's and it's it's odd as well that you say, can you, you know, uh, your, your your first one was. Uh, horror type sci-fi that i i think that's pretty much how how rob and i cut our teeth on it rob uh it with with first, yeah. my first game with a horror sci-fi yeah yeah so a big shout yeah, out all... yeah a big shout out to the fear of the dark crew yeah. um which i believe is is dave sean andy yeah. john am i missing anybody that's yeah, that I actually create Ange them Ange, oh, yeah. yeah and of course uh Ange's daughter now uh has yeah. taken over the reins yeah um yeah we all Go on, Stu, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, no, no, go on, Rob, because yeah, well, you probably no, know better than I. We're a big fan of Fear of the Dark. They're a very small love group who just do mm. these very small, intimate, absolutely <laughs> wetting your pants bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm a huge fan of them. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Honestly, I've... I've never been so scared as I was at that LARP event. Oh, my days. It unfortunately doesn't run anymore, but... Yeah. Oh, it was... It was good. It's a good event. I'm really sad it doesn't run. But yeah, just the way that they handled yeah. that just was top notch. Yeah. I, I, I think we'll put that in another tip then. Like, that quiet space is a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. If nothing, yes. <laughs> I, 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 I would agree with that. I mean, there's been. There's very few times. In fact, I don't, I, I don't think of any, of any time where I've been out of my element uh but then again most people come to me to make things darker i have no idea why (laughs) (laughs) Uh, but uh but yeah when things are getting over the top you know and you're like whoa i I really just need to just go over there a minute then having a designated space where people know if you're in there you know i mean it's it's quiet time the new group that I'm actually part of at uh, MCP, um, and we've got a new group in the Mercs called the Trinity. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> um, <laughs> we've actually made our own one um, All right. in our camp. Yeah. We have like a, I don't even know how to describe it. Like we've got our own like little village thing that we've made and we've got like a little cut off. Yeah. And because we've okay. got quite a few of us that have got like fibro or um, we've got some that have got autism in our group and stuff like that. So quite a few of us have sensory problems. And it's yeah. just kind of sneak in. It's quite we keep it quite dark in there as well, actually, if you need like, you know, yeah. low light. And that's just something that we've kind of done because, you know, CP is so big, yeah. it's quite difficult. So we've kind of made our own little one. Um Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea on a big lap. On a big lap especially because like you've got the camps, but then the yeah. other character takes it's 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 a, it's it's quite a hike oh, from it's game such to a walk, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, well, okay. Uh, I think that's a, about it, Rob. Anything else? No, I think that's all. Rachel, is there anything else you want to add to it at all or shout Ooh. out? 
Oh, let's think if I've actually got anything that I'd like to add. Don't think so. Okay. Not that I can think of. So, no. so just be awesome to one another. That's pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <I think laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things. Of, I think also like for players, like just as a thing, if someone tells you that like they've got a problem doing something, like this is just a general thing anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So. If there's someone who maybe looks able-bodied and kind of says that they're struggling with something or that they need you to help them carry something, yeah. just be nice and do it. <laughs> just be, just it's just be a, nice general, and a general do it. thing, you know. Like, for me, sometimes I'm fine carrying my bag, but if, like, I need help and there yeah. isn't really anyone else on the path, like, if there's someone who's got a nice face, like, generally, you know, you know the people that look like they're going to be helpful. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just one of those things of, I think, people in general being more aware of the fact that quite a few people at large yes. have like hidden disabilities yeah. um, just be nice and just treat everybody with respect and try and be helpful don't job us on the path please <laughs> yes just <laughs> just <mean. laughs> just be excellent to one another yeah, exactly. <laughs> world stallions <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay uh, well thank you very much rachel uh, i've been You're an welcome. absolute delight to talk to you um this is the th fourth oh, the fourth one we've done four. so far yeah there there is uh, one more coming up um yeah. apparently Ooh. uh so we'll be getting to that when i think it's next week isn't it rob something like that i think it's 18 yeah yeah so it's well that when it, whenever it is um it's soon <laughs> yeah it's soon. it's soon it's soon soon so um this is to everybody out there. Uh, if you like what we do and you'd like to help us out, uh, I think we're ditching the Patreon thing because that just doesn't seem to work for us. However, we do like coffee. So <laughs> if you go to, and, and, and I know and I know this is uh, probably not spelled uh, or pronounced coffee, it's probably Kofi or something like that, but K-O hyphen uh, F-I dot com forward slash laugh book and just go buy us a coffee all right it's as simple as that yeah again keeps me going right keeps <laughs> keeps keeps rob going and i'm really pretty <laughs> sure i'm pretty sure it keeps rachel going as well yeah <laughs> it's it's the only drug of choice and uh, <laughs> you know and, and support us so we can keep doing this uh, time and time again because we're not a professional company if you hadn't noticed uh, <laughs> we do this all off our own backs this is all our own money all our own time etc and you know we really are thankful for people that come along to help us out doing the things like rachel so don't forget go to coffee.com kofi coffee whatever you say it uh forward slash laugh book and just buy us a coffee and that will help us out greatly uh, so from this point forward it just remains for me to say uh, thank you very much Rachel thank you very much Rob um, and it's goodbye from everybody here bye bye, bye, -bye. <laughs> so if you have been watching thank you very much do not forget to click the subscribe and to hit that little bell to see when more things come out so for now it's goodbye from me oh.